Good morning, this is Rob Robito, pastor of Valley Baptist Temple in Fairlawn, Ohio. I'm here with today's Bible moment for November 12th, Sunday morning. I had to think about that for a minute. Looking forward to a good day in the Lord's house. And today I want to look at our Bible moment in Mark chapter 1 and verse 7. I'll read here. It says, And preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. Again, it says, And preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. We understand that here in Mark 1, this is talking about John the Baptist. As he's preaching his message of repentance, he's referring to Jesus who would come after him and speaking of his humility and unworthiness before Jesus. And he expresses it with an illustration of unlatching Jesus' shoe latches. Now, I don't have shoe latches on my shoes. I have shoe laces. But when you think back to that day, you understand it's hard for us to put ourselves in this situation even. But this is a very appropriate illustration. The shoes, you know, our shoes, we can walk around today in our society on our sidewalks. And, you know, we walk to and from our homes. Oftentimes, we don't even have to walk on dirt. And we can keep our our spotless, our shoes spotless and white. Sometimes I see people walking around with shoes that, that practically glow. In this era, it was impossible. Everywhere they went, they walked. They didn't ride in a vehicle. They didn't put their shoes or their feet up into something. They didn't walk on sidewalks. They had dirty feet. And this task of latching and unlatching shoes was a dirty task. It was something that, that, that was not clean. It was a simple task. It was something that did not require uh, special skill. It was a, a low task. It was an unimportant task. If you could think of all the unimportant tasks in your day, this might be the lowest of the low. I mean, personally, I don't always even unlatch my shoes or I don't even always untie my shoes. I'll sometimes just with one foot, put it up against the back and push it off and, and just do it with my own feet. But he says he is unworthy to do the task that sometimes we even do with our own feet. He is unworthy to do the dirtiest of tasks that you could think of. Handle what has collected the dirt and grime from all through society. He says he's unworthy to do that. And I ask you today, if John the Baptist, a powerful man of God, a prophet that Jesus spoke very highly of, a man that attracted great crowds from all over and brought them out into the countryside to him, if he looked at Jesus and saw himself in this way, how do we see ourselves? How worthy do we see ourselves? It's only when we see ourselves as we truly are that we can understand who Jesus truly is. John chapter 3 and verse 30, we know that John said, He must increase, I must decrease. And those two go together. For one to happen, the other has to happen as well. And again, today I ask, do you see yourself as unworthy like John the Baptist did? That's today's Bible moment.